Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss retention in completeness. As we already know, retention is one of the main objective of impression making. So let's move on to the topic. According to GPT-9, it is defined as the quality inherent in the dental processes acting to resist the forces of dislodgement along the path of placement. So, it, it is a property to resist the forces of dislodgement along the path of placement. It is related to the forces that resist the forces of gravity, adhesiveness of the food and opening of the jaws. The process of obtaining denture retention begins with the impression making and the factors that attach the denture to the mucosa affect retention. Okay. So, which are the factors affecting the retention of a complete denture? The factors are anatomical factors, physiological factors, physical factors, mechanical factors and muscular factors. In this lecture, we will discuss the various anatomical and physiological factors in detail. So, coming to the anatomical factors, the main anatomic factors are size of the denture bearing area and the quality of the denture bearing area. So, coming to the size of the denture bearing area, retention, it increases with increase in the size of denture bearing area. This picture shows the average size of the maxillary denture bearing area is around 24 square centimeter and that of the mandibular denture bearing area is around 14 square centimeter. Here it is evident that the maxillary denture bearing area is more than the mandibular denture bearing area. Hence, the maxillary dentures have more retention than the mandibular dentures. Next one is the quality of the denture bearing area. The displaceability of the tissues influences the retention of the denture. Tissues displaced during impression making will lead to tissue rebound during denture use leading to loss of retention. So that is about the anatomical factors. Here comes physiological factors. The major physiological factor is saliva. The viscosity of saliva determines retention. Thick and ropey saliva gets accumulated between the tissue surface of the denture and the palate leading to the loss of retention. And thin as well as watery saliva can lead to compromised retention. So, thick ropey saliva and thin watery saliva both contributes compromised retention. The average flow of saliva is 150 ml per minute. Saliva has glycoproteins which are called mucins and the major mucins are MUC2, 5A, 7 etc. And these mucins are responsible for the stringiness of the saliva which is called spin bucket. So, these mucins are responsible for the stringiness of the saliva. Cases with dialysis can lead to gagging and in patients with serostomia, dangers can produce soreness and irritation. So, that is about the today's lecture. Thanks for watching. Please do share and subscribe.